Hi guys, Kate. I'm going to do a version of Rihanna's makeup in the Love How Do You How You Like No. <laughs> Love How You Lie to Me. Love How You Lie to Me. I think that's what it's called. Anyway, um, this is going to be my version of it. It's lots of like chocolate browns, a little bit of blacks, and there's a lavender hint to it. Um, I have about six high resolution pictures of it and there's definitely a lavender in there. Nonetheless, it's not exact, but um, I thought it was pretty and I usually don't do all that many inspired um, inspired looks, but I decided to go for this one. On my face, I have the um, Paramedical Camouflage Foundation. So I love this stuff and wherever I can get my hands on it, I get my hands on it. So. I'm taking a 239 by Sigma, or I don't know what they're called now. I know the name's changed, but I have to get used to the new system. Mine's all the old numbering system, so it is a flat, dense shader brush. And I'm taking Max Night Maneuvers, which is a satin eyeshadow, which was, um, I think this is Style Warriors or something. I don't pay attention to Mac, and I've never used this in my life. I just had it. It was a gift, so I figured I'd try it and it ends up being the proper color. Okay, for an eye primer, I'm using this using this Gosh Cosmetics um, eye primer. This is the stick, not the squeeze tube. This is newer um, to the company, so I decided to try it and I really like it and it does work. So spreading that all over my lid. You can use a brush, use whatever you like. I'm using my fingers. <laughs> so we're taking that 239 and what I did was press the shadow all over the lid. Then took a this, 217. This is Sigma's 217, and blend the heck out of the very edge of it. And what that's going to do is fade and blend the color into a soft brown, which is what you want. So you blend that as much as you want. Hers is mainly on the lid. It does go up higher, um, not right to the brow bone or anything, but it does go up that you can see the color when her eyes are open. So I'm going to take a bit more on the 239 and pat it just on the outer corner because it is good to layer eyeshadows, um, both for staying, pow staying power and uh, to build up the intensity that you want. You want your edges nice and soft too. What I'm taking is a 252 and I will take Okay, this is makeup designery. Um, I I'm not sure what this color is called. It is a satin black. Um, I'd have to pop it out of the quad to check. So I will look on the website and write it in what it is. I'm taking this 252. I got a bit of the black on there and I'm using the side of the brush pulling this way with your brush to deepen just the outer corner. And again, you'd be blending that with the 217. If you remove any of your brownish color, all you need to do is reapply a bit more, as I said, layer eyeliner. And what I did was line from the outer corner and right to the inner corner. And this is under the lash line. And I did right in the sea of my tear duct. 
Again, you don't need to go this intense, but this is um, just a rough, a rough guide of what she's wearing in the video, in my opinion. So don't attack me, say it's not what she's wearing. I don't claim to be her makeup artist. Taking a 214 which by Sigma, which is a short little blender brush, great for blending under the lash line. I'm taking a bit of the MAC shadow, dragging it under the lash line on top of the eyeliner. That's going to both set the eyeliner and allow for a more smoky effect. You can do it in reverse. You can do the um, smudged out pencil underneath and then sorry smudged out shadow underneath and then put the pencil on top that is also going to give you a smoked out effect so to soften that up even more i'm going to take a pencil brush it's dirty because i just used it on the other side and i'm going to soften up under the eye even more you can then take a 224 i'm using just a medium to light um, brown matte color it is oh, what is it called taupe by makeup designery is what it's called and I'm just softening up the outer edge again and bringing more of the brown color into perspective um, I'm then taking my sweet Virginia which is my absolute favorite eyeshadow from Sigma um, I took this old 120 palette um, because I have a few of them and this one had like seen its day. I'd used the heck out of everything. So I took all my Sigma shadows, blushes, highlights and and glued them into here. So all my Sigmas in one palette. I know it's kind of ghetto, but whatever, it works. So Sweet Virginia is this one. It looks gray. It looks blue. It looks lavender. It looks any color that you want it to look really. It's like the most amazing color I've ever found in my life. So what I do did, sorry, was drag this under the lash line on top of the brown and that is going to pick up and then I layered the brown on top of it again yes it's a lot of layers but it all works for the effect that we're going for okay I then took a what is this 226 which is a small tapered blending brush by Sigma went in with the Sigma sweet Virginia or whatever lavender color you have see how there's already like a lavender tint to this um, night maneuvers it's not night maneuvers it's night maneuvers so I guess that's where the mauve comes in and I'm just bringing some into the inner corner and onto the lid a bit not all the way across just a little bit And then you can add your and layer your shadows again to deepen up the outside. Anyways, I'm taking Max Blanc type, Blanc as in white in French, uh, Blanc type or Blank type, whatever you want to call it, but it is Blanc type nonetheless. Who cares? Uh, Sigma 195, which is a synthetic concealer brush. Nonetheless, I'm going to use it under my eyebrow as a brow highlight. So this is a matte. Um, skin color pretty much and what you can do to soften this up is drag that white color not it's not really white but whatever off white just over the very edges of the look and not all the way across just on the edge and it is going to mattify it a bit and it is also going to soften it a bit I got this humongous bronzer it's a Rimmel shimmering max maxi bronzer Sun shimmer anyway since like among this huge huge anyway and I have my Sigma 138 which I love it's a tapered brush and I love it for contouring in the cheek area so I'm putting that on you don't need to put a terrible amount of it but I mean depending on your color this is just to warm up the cheeks a bit and to warm them up even further I'm going to use Makeup Designeries. This is called Glow, and it's an apricot with lots of pink and gold undertones, and I'm using a 131 by Sigma to apply it. And I'm keeping that just on the apples. And 
Now, as far as the depth of this look, it's very dark, the video, to see her makeup, but it is quite a bit of makeup that she has on. And it's a nice look, and there is more brown than lavender, but I like the way this looks, so that's what I'm doing. I don't care what you have to say about it. She has a very nude lip, but there is a pink frost on it? the planet. Not even a new favorite nude. My favorite nude on the planet um, is Gosh Cosmetics, and it this is the color Darling. Now, when you look at the color Darling online, it looks like it is a a dirty lavender and it is not at all it's like the perfect nude ever anyway you'll see when you have this on it totally blanks your lips out okay which is a look that some people go for nonetheless I'm going to have some lips today so even though that is great as a base for a nude. I'm going to put this bubblegum pink on top. I was going to use a frost pink and I cannot find it to save my life. So if recreating this look, I would suggest using a more, with more, I don't know, frost to it or, or brown in the brown tones. But I don't like to do what everybody else does. And I know this look is being freaking beat to death. So um, I decided to do something similar but not exact so hope you enjoy hope you recreate and uh, that's it I do have a favorites thing to do but I don't know if I'm gonna do it all right talk to you later bye